Hi everyone, this is the topic uh, integration of functions. In this video, I'm going to show a few examples including the integral by substitution method. Uh, so before we proceed to the question, let's look at this uh, uh, equation first. We have a d f x plus c dx, meaning that we differentiate this function with respect to x, we get the small letter of f. And uh, here I'm going to tell you that I have a new function, a new uh, operation, which is called integration. Integration is actually a reverse uh, operation of a differentiation. So meaning that we differentiate a function, which call a capital letter of f, we get the small letter of f. That means if you integrate the small letter of f, you will get back the capital letter of f and uh, plus a constant c. All right, so uh, I have a diagram over here. Can explain uh, uh, all this, uh, summarize the first the operation of a differentiation and integration. If I have a small letter of f, I want to get the capital letter of f, I need to integrate. Integrate, which is uh, the, the, the operation, the symbol is integrate something with respect to x. All right. If I want to get back the small letter of f from the capital letter of f, I need to differentiate. Because uh, differentiation and integration, they are the uh, reverse operation. Alright, uh, the symbol of the differentiation will be like this. Differentiate something with respect to x. Alright, and uh, we have a name uh, called this uh, small letter of f, which I call it as a derivative. Get the find the derivative. Huh? Normally, the question for differentiation find the derivative of something, meaning that asks you to differentiate. Okay, and uh, this uh, capital letter of f plus c we call it as an anti derivative. Okay, why we need plus a constant c because from the capital letter of f plus a constant c, if we differentiate. If we differentiate to get the small letter of f, if we differentiate the constant c, we get zero. All right. So if the c is having the zero, okay, if the c is equal to zero, you differentiate, you get zero. All right. If the c is a two, you also will get zero. If the c is uh, taking the added value, uh, for example five, okay, you also differentiate will get zero. So you do not know what is a constant when you when you um. Integrate, you do not know what is a constant behind, okay, behind the uh, antiderivative. So you plus a constant c, and uh, we also call this as an indefinite integral, okay. Then we have a c, we have a constant c. Indefinite integral meaning that here you do not deal with the lower, lower bound, lower limit and the upper limit. You do not have a lower limit and upper limit over here, so you need to plus a constant c. Alright, then uh, now we proceed to a few questions which explain uh, uh, this. Uh, give you some example. Given that the uh, differentiate the x power of 4 with respect to x, you get 4x cubed. As if that this is your small letter of f, this is your capital letter of f. We differentiate small letter of f, we get the capital letter of f. Meaning that if we integrate integrate the capital letter of f, we get back our uh, small letter of f, all right? So, um, I think I should use a symbol of, uh, this is small letter of f, this is capital letter of f, uh, to, be, uh, to be the same as, the, as I stated above. You differentiate the capital letter of f, you get small letter of f. If you integrate small letter of f, you get your capital letter of f. So uh, you take this uh, x power of 4 as a uh, fx, which uh, you differentiate, you get the 4x cubed. Meaning that if you integrate 4x cubed, if you integrate 4x cubed with respect to x, we do not need to show any, any step because the question just say write down. Write down meaning that you can get, you are able to get the answer at the first sight. All right. So integrate 4x cubed with respect to x, of course you will get back this, x power of 4. 
And don't forget, because this is an indefinite integral, meaning that we don't have any upper limit and lower limit, we have to plus a constant c. Just like that. Alright? Look at the question B. Now you have a differentiate this, you get this. Meaning that you integrate this function, you get back this. Alright? Since the question just asks you to integrate 1 over 4 x power of 3 over 4. Just compare this and the uh, statement over here. They are exactly the same, even though the even the coefficient 1 over 4, they are the same. Alright, so we just know that we integrate this, we will get back x power of negative uh, x power of 1 over 4. Because this is an indefinite integral, we need to plus a constant c. Okay, this is the answer. And this, um, for this question, the same thing. Deduce. Deduce meaning that you just uh, uh, use the statement above. Just find the answer for this uh, state, for this integral. Integrate negative 1 over 2, x power of 3 over 2, is exactly the same as this one. So meaning that if you differentiate A, you got B, right? You integrate B, you get back your A. Alright, so this is your B. Integrate the B, which is a negative 1 over 2, x power of 3 over 2. You integrate with respect to x, you get your a. a is your 1 over square root of x. Again, this is not in, uh, this is an indefinite integral. We plus a constant c for our answer. Alright. For the question 2, I have a 6 question. I have a 6 question from a to f, which I use the basic rules of integration. Let's look at the question a. How do I solve it? To find the integral of this function, we just uh, need to increase the power by 1, which are 4 plus 1, you got 5, and divided by 5. Divided by the power that you have increased just now, this is how we integrate x power of 4. And uh, if you have two terms, you can just uh, integrate term by term. Integrate x power of 3, you get a power of 3 increased by 1, you get 4, and then divided by 4. And again, this is an indefinite integral. You need plus a constant c and check all the terms. Is there any chance to um, uh, simplify? If yes, then you need to simplify. But this is, I think, this is a simplest form. We just uh, put it, uh, leave it as our final answer. Look at the question B. To integrate this function, we just uh, integrate term by term. Firstly, I need to integrate negative x power of 4. The negative is just a coefficient. We just copy down. And uh, x, the power of the x uh, is 4. You increase by 1, you get 5. And divided by 5. Plus, x power of 3 over 2. 3 over 2 plus 1. Increase the power by 1, you get a plus a 2 over 2. Meaning that the power becomes 5 over 2. And divided by 5 over 2 plus constant c. And uh, next, we're going to simplify. First term, we just write down. Second term, we can simplify. Break the 2 on top to the top, and you get 2x power of 5 over 2 over 5, plus constant c. Alright, for the question c, you have uh, three terms. Huh? You have three terms, and you're going to integrate with respect to z. So don't worry, just integrate term by term. Integrate the first term, you get a z. Power of 5, because the power 4, you increase by 1, you got 5, and divided by 5. Plus, z, increase the power by 1, meaning that you plus uh, 9 over 9, you get a, a 5 over 9, and divided by 5 over 9. Then you have a z, power of negative 7 plus 1, you got negative 6, and divided by negative 6 plus a constant c, then now we need we just need to simplify our answer. First term, just copy down. Second term, you can simplify by bringing the 9 to the top. You have a 9z power of 5 over 9 over 5. And simplify the sign. Negative multiplied by negative, you got positive, And you have a 1 over 6z power of 6. Question D. You need to integrate these two terms, term by term, and both them containing coefficient, uh, non, uh, not one. Just uh, do it as usual. If you have a coefficient, just copy down first. 
and then to integrate x power of 7, increase the power by 1, you get x power of 8, and divided by 8. Plus, integrate 2x squared, just write down the coefficient first, and then integrate x squared, increase the power by 1, you get 3, and divided by 3, plus c. Alright, to integrate this, negative 6, copy down, and power of 8 increased by 1, you got 9, divided by 9. Plus, integrate a constant, you have a 9x. Alright, plus constant c. Alright, uh, and the 6, I see the 6 and the 9 can be cancelled off. Here, I got 2, 3. So, finally, I will have the answer, uh, negative 2, x power of 9 over 3, plus 9x, plus c. Now I have this question, 5r, power of 3 over 2 minus 9r plus 3 with respect to r, yeah? integrate. So copy down the coefficient, 5, and then the, the r, the power of r, plus 1. Plus 1 meaning that plus 2 over 2, you get 5 over 2, and this is divided by 5 over 2, minus 9, r power of 2 over 2, because the power of r increased by 1, you get 2, and divided by 2. Integrate a constant, you just uh, multiply it by r and plus constant c. And the first term can be simplified, which the 5 can be cancelled off. And bring the 2 to the top, you have a 2r power of 5 over 2 minus 9r squared over 2 plus 3r plus c. Question 3. We need to find the following integrals. Let's look at the question one. A, integrate dx over x squared. And uh, this is actually equivalent to 1 over x squared dx. And I'm going to write this uh, question in this form. The power is negative 2 and we integrate with respect to x. So for the integration, rules of integration, we just add up the increase the power by 1. And uh, later on, if, uh, if increase the negative 2 by 1, we have negative 1 over negative 1. And we need to plus a constant c. Simplify it, you will get negative 1 over x plus c. And for the question b, we have this. And uh, rewrite this in this form. The power of 6 I bring up to become a power of negative 6. And we're going to integrate with respect to x. To integrate, if you have a coefficient, just bring out, just write down. And uh, now the power of x, you have to increase by 1, you got negative 5. And divided by the power that we have already increased, that is negative 5 plus a constant c. And we have done the integration, now we need to simplify. We get a negative 4 over 5x power of 5 plus c. For the question c, we have, uh, you have to integrate cube root of x. Cube root of x with respect to x, I'm going to rewrite this. In uh, the cube root, I'm going to write it in the form of power, which is of x power of 1 over 3 is similar. And now I'm going to increase the power by 1. I start to integrate. Yeah? I start to integrate. Increase the power by 1, you have a plus 3 over 3, then you have a 4 over 3. And divided by the power that you have increased, that is a 4 over 3. And plus a constant c, because this is an in the indefinite integral. And bring up the 3, you have 3x power of 4 over 3 over 4. That's it. Now we come to question D. Again, coefficient, we always copy down. Okay, I'm not going to start integrate first. I'm going to transform this into the form of a 3 power of 3 over 4. Alright, so originally we have an x power of 3 and a fourth root of an x power of 3, meaning that we have an x power of 3 over 4. Okay, so uh, attached to the same method, copy down the coefficient and later on the power increased by 1, meaning that you have to add this by uh, 4 over 4, we get 7 over 4. And uh, divided by 7 over 4, then you need to simplify. Bring up this 4, multiply by 2, you have a 8x power of 7 over 4, divided by 7, plus c. For the question 4, we have a 4 example here, 
and uh, please look at the question A. You have uh, x minus 2 squared. If you have a question like this, don't worry, we just uh, expand it. x minus 2 squared is easy to expand. You have uh, x squared minus 4x plus 4. And integrate this function with respect to x. Integrate term by term. Integrate x squared, you have uh, x cubed over 3. Integrate the uh, 4x, you have a uh, 4x squared over 2. And plus 4x, integrate 4, you got 4x, plus constant c. And now we need to simplify, see which term can be simplified. First term, just copy down. Second term, we can see that the 4 and 2 can be cancelled. Alright, and now we have left uh, negative 2 squared plus 4x plus c. This is the answer. For the question B, the same as the question A, we need to expand because the power is not that, uh, not that big. And then uh, we can expand easily. Expand it, we get that 25 plus 30x plus 9x squared. And then we integrate term by term. Integrate 25, we get 25x. Integrate 30, we get 30x squared over 2 and uh, plus 9x cubed over 3 plus c. Okay, then uh, we have to simplify. We can see that this one can be become a 15 on top and here is 3. So uh, finally what we have is 25x plus 15x squared plus 3x cubed plus c. Alright, now proceed to the question c. For this question, we need to integrate. Before we integrate, we just uh, need to separate into two separate terms. How do we do that? We can take a 4 divided by v cubed. We have a 4 v power of negative 3. And uh, v power of 4 divided by v cubed, we have a v. So now we have two separate terms. Just integrate term by term separately. First term, just write down the 4 because the 4 is a coefficient. And the v, we are going to add uh, to increase the power by 1. We get negative 2 and divided by negative 2. So increase the v, the power of 1 by 1, you get a v squared divided by 2 plus a constant c. And later on, we need to simplify. We have a 4 and 2 can be cancelled. Alright, and then uh, we have a negative 2 over v squared and uh, plus v squared over 2 plus constant c. For this function, we're going to in integrate with respect to y. Again, uh, similar to the question c uh, uh, beside, uh, next to it. We just need to separate into the two separate terms. Using the y power of 6 divided by y power of 3 over 2, you got the y power of 6 minus uh, 3 over 2. And uh, minus 1 over y power of 3 over 2, you got negative 3 over 2. And you're going to integrate with respect to y. So 6 minus 3 over 2, you got the 12 minus 3, you got 9. Power of 9 divided by 2. Let's check. Eh? 6 to 12, 12 minus 3, you got 9. 9 over 2 minus y power of negative 3 over 2. You're going to integrate with respect to y. So now we proceed to the integration. Now we can start to integrate. Integrate by um, increase this power by 1, meaning that you add the 2 over 2, you got 11 over 2. Don't forget to divide by 11 over 2. And uh, for a negative 3 over 2, increase by 1, meaning that plus 2 over 2, you got negative 1 over 2, and over negative 1 over 2, plus a constant c. And after that, simplify it. Bring the 2 up here. You get the 2y power of 11 over 2 over 11. My plus. Negative multiplied by negative, you got positive. So you have uh, uh, the 2 bring up. You have a 2 over square root of y. Or we say y power of 1 over 2 because you can see the power is negative here. Meaning that you can bring down the y power of 1 over 2 here. And plus a constant c. Proceed to the question 5. We have a four example for the question 5. Let's look at the question A. Uh, integrate x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. So this question, we also use the basic rule of integration to integrate. But before we integrate, we need to simplify this first. 
So we must be able to see the x squared minus 4 is actually um, can be written as a x plus 2, x minus 2. And here we can simplify it by cancel of this uh, x minus 2. And rewrite the question again, you have your x minus 2 dx. Integrate them by term, you have x squared over 2 plus 2x plus c. Question B, probably we can uh, factorize this uh, numerator so that later on we can simplify. We try to factorize the top uh, function first, the quadratic. We have a x, x and 2, 1, positive, positive. Expand back, see whether we get back this uh, quadratic function. All right, yes, it's correct. Then after that, we can see that on top we have a x plus 1. Uh, denominator also containing x plus 1, so both can be cancelled off. And we left uh, x plus 2 dx. To integrate the x plus 2 with respect to x, we have uh, x squared over 2 plus 2x. Don't forget to plus constant c. For the example c, this question we have to expand it and uh, make it into two separate terms. The x squared multiplied by 6, we have a uh, 6x squared plus x squared multiplied by 3 over x power of 6, we have a 3 power of x power of 4, 3 over x power of 4 dx. Then now I will rewrite the second term in this form. I have 3x power of negative 4. Then we start to integrate now. We can integrate the 6x, uh, 6x squared, we got a 6x cubed divided by 3. The power increased by 1 and divided by the power that we have increased. Plus, 3, bring down the, uh, sorry, uh, the x, you need to uh, power negative 4, increase by 1, you get negative 3, and uh, divided by negative 3, don't forget to plus a constant, and uh, then after that, we uh, see which one can be simplified, which term, then this is the 3, the 3 over here cancel off, we have 1, then we rewrite our answer to, be, to get the simplest form. Positive, negative, we get negative 1 over x cubed plus c. Question D, we have a x squared minus 1 over x squared and the whole thing power of 2. Are we going to integrate this? We need to modify, we need to expand it first or simplify it first before we start to integrate. Just uh, take, just uh, divide both terms uh, by the x squared make them into two separate terms first. I got my 1 minus 1 over x squared. And then this whole thing, power of 2. After that, I will try to expand. I got my uh, 1 minus 1 over x squared multiplied by 1 minus 1 over x squared. And then expand it. 1 multiplied by 1, you got 1. 1 multiplied by negative uh, 1 over x squared, you got negative 1 over x squared. And uh, negative 1 over x squared multiplied by 1, you got another 1, negative 1 over x squared. And then negative multiplied by negative, you got positive. Positive 1 over x squared, 1 over x squared, you got 1 over x power of 4. And this two term actually can be simplified into 2 times of 1 over x squared, that is 2 over x squared. Then we have a 1 over x power of 4. If you want to make your integration easier, so probably we can write this in the power form, that is a 2x power of negative 2 plus x power of negative 4. Then we start to integrate. Integrate 1, you got x. Then negative 2, you can copy down. Power of negative 2 increased by 1, you got a negative 1 over negative. 1 plus and power of negative 4 increased by 1 you got negative 3 over negative 3 plus constant c then we simplify negative multiplied by negative you got positive 2 over x minus ne positive negative you got negative 1 over 3 x cubed proceed to the question 6 we still need to use the basic rules of integration question a for this question, we do not need to use any technique, we just uh, need to expand. Expand. 
square root of x multiplied by x plus square root of x multiplied by 2. Okay, you cannot integrate as usual. Once you have expanded, just expand, you got x power of 3 over 2 because the power of 1 over 2 plus 1, you got 3 over 2. And um, square root of x multiplied by 2, you have a 2 or uh, x power of 1 over 2. And we're going to integrate this with respect to x. Integrate term by term again, you have, uh, you have to increase this by 1, you have a one, 5 over 2 over 5 over 2. Plus 2, copy down. And then plus 1, meaning that plus what, 2 over 2, you have a 3 over 2 and divided by 3 over 2. Plus constant c. After that, simplify it, you have a 2x power of 5 over 2 divided by 5. And the 2 bring up, multiply by 2, you have 4x power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 plus constant c. For the question B, we just need to be able to see this function is actually can be written into two separate terms. All right, we can use a 2x cubed divided by x squared, we got a 2x minus 6 divided by x squared, you got a 6x power of negative 2. Then we can start to integrate by using the basic rules. Integrate the 2x, we have a 2x squared over 2 minus 6x. Increase the uh, power by 1, you have a negative 1 over negative 1 plus a constancy. And here we can see that the 2 can be cancelled off. Then continue simplify your answer, you got x squared. And negative multiplied by negative, you have positive, positive uh, 6 over x plus c. Now we continue with the example c. Example C, again, similar to the question, to the example B, we just um, uh, make it simplify them into three separate terms. 3V squared divided by V power of uh, 1 over 2, meaning that taking the power of 2 minus 1 over 2, you got the 3V power of 3 over 2 minus 2V divided by uh, V power of 1 over 2. You're taking the power of 1 minus 1 over 2, you got a uh, V power of 1 over 2 and after that 1 over square root of v you can write it as a negative power, uh, v power of negative 1 over 2 then we're going to integrate all this term with uh, respect to v integrate the first term you got 3v the power uh, increased by 1 meaning that you plus the 2 by 2 you have a 5 over 2 and uh, divided by 5 over 2 for the first term Second term, the power need to be increased by 1, you get the power of 3 over 2 and then after that divided by 3 over 2 plus this one, the power increased by 1, meaning that negative 1 over 2 plus 1, you got 1 over 2 and divided by 1 over 2. Then plus constant c, the 2 here can bring up, multiply by 3, you got 6v power of 5 over 2 and over 5 minus the 2 bring up Combine, multiply by, uh, by 2, you get 4v power of 3 over 2 over 3. Plus, 2 bring up, and then the square, uh, v power of 1 over 2 can be written as a square root of v, or up to you want to stay with the power of 1 over 2, also can. Eh? Alright, plus constant c, then uh, you can't simplify anymore, you just leave this as your final answer. For the example d, Again, you look at the power is power 2, so you're still able to expand it without applying any rules or any technique. So just uh, expand it, writing this uh, into in the form of like two factors over there. And after that, you expand. S square, S square multiplied by S square, you get S power of 4. S square multiplied by 1 over S square, you get 1. And the other one is 1 over a square multiplied by s square. You got the other one. And uh, 1 over s square multiplied by 1 over s square. You got 1 over s power of 4 ds. Then we simplify first before we integrate. 1 plus 1, you got 2. And uh, 1 over s power of 4, I can write it in the form of uh, s power of negative 4. Then we start to integrate. By increasing this power by 1, you get s power of 5 and then divided by 5. Now, this is how we integrate. And integrate the 2, you get 2s. 
integrate the S power of negative 4, you get negative 3 divided by negative 3 plus constant C. And simplify. First term, just stay as S power of 5 over 5. Second term, the same, 2S. And the third term, you need to simplify. Plus minus, you get negative. And then you have a 1 over 3 S cubed plus C. And we have done a sixth question for the top, subtopic 5.1. Uh, which is the integration of functions. And we have a question 7, 8, 9, and 10. We got four more questions, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, which I will uh, explain in the next video. And uh, for, this, uh, follow, uh, for this following four questions, uh, for the uh, question 6, uh, sorry, 7, 8, 9, 10, well, about the question using the substitution method to integrate. So see you there.